35 years before, another great soprano voice had taken center stage at the opening of the new Metropolitan Opera House at Lincoln Center in 1966. Leontine Price, one of the great sopranos of this century, is working to perfect her opening night role as Cleopatra. Leontine Price's voice is very special. I remember hearing her sing here in New York. Along with her beautiful voice, she had a strong and confident stage presence. The amazing costume that she wore for the role of Cleopatra is kept in the Met's archive. Glorious piece. It's for an Antony and Cleopatra. And as if everyone would want to do, they want to put it on, right? And I most often you can't. To see if and you so, can try that so on. I take the liberty of being able to put it on. <laughs> Isn't it stunning? That looks terrific. I actually wore what they and Tyne wore. Sure. These were all designed by Franco oh Safarelli. Oh, gosh. Yeah. To sing is the most human of the art form delivery, more than perhaps an instrument which has to be tuned mechanically. You are the tuner, you are the vessel. Everything depends on how you feel as a person. It is for you to hear how beautiful your instrument is, from you to you with much, much love. That way you can send it out to the public because they make the careers. Once they accept you, and your freedom to be, and your love of singing, they never leave you. There is no love like that. For Leontine Price, the night was a spectacular triumph before an audience clearly thrilled by her singing. I, mean, I love Leontine Time Price very much. I think she was one of the great, well, of course, one of the great sopranos of, of this country and of the world. But mm. um, she was one of the people that we followed, like Joan Sutherland. And we young singers were following these great singers, and, and, and lots of people are now following me, and people are following like Renee Fleming and these lovely singers. And we just like the Pied Piper leading our little singers to the mountains.